hello guys welcome back to sap 2000 video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through a multi-story frame so let me open a new model and in here you have many templates we can go to a directly a 2d frame or we can just select grid and in here number of grid lines so in x direction let us say 4 and in y let us say 1 and in z let's say again 4 so in x direction let it be 14 feet and y will be as usual 1 feet and z will be 10 feet we'll select ok so you see this is how it looks so before I frame anything this is the 3D view and this is XY plane view so you can even move it to X Z but you need to select the tab so I selected the tab this one and X Z there it goes okay fine first I'll go and define my material which will be concrete and it will be 5000 psi and then I'll go and define my frame section which will be rectangular rectangular and 5000 psi as my material property um, 18 inches by let's say 12 inches should be fine for now I'll select OK and I'll select this name as RC rectangular I'll select OK now that I have done with defining the frame element what I'll do is I'll just uh, draw my frame elements nothing but my column right click right click right click right click and I'll also add uh, I'll also define a new section property uh, new frame material uh, let's add new property which will be rectangular again and let's say as REC2 18 by 18 select ok ok once again just go to this section and make sure you have 5000 psi you need to make sure that you provide the correct material type now going from here to here and those will be my beams so as you see A's 3 are still uh, yep now everything looks good we can just see this in 3d view if you want just go to display options select extruded view there it goes oh something looks terrible we made some kind of mistake 
anyways we'll just go to define section properties frame sections we'll s modify this uh, this is in feet so we just need one feet over there we'll select ok select ok and as you can see the change has been updated you don't need to do anything else just change your property in define and everything gets changed now what we'll do is we'll select all the bottom node points and we'll assign supports sorry it's joint restaurants so they'll be all fixed select ok and you can see fix supports all of them now we'll assign some loads so before that we'll define load patterns let's say dead load pattern and also a live load pattern and also a wind load pattern for now I'm keeping this as a none or I mean you can select your code but for now I'll keep it none I'll just apply as a nodal load I'll select ok ok oh, I forgot I need to add this new load pattern I'll select ok now next I'll go to load cases that will be dead live wind model that's fine then I'll go load combinations instead of me creating new combination I mean I can create a new combination but I'll just add default design combos as per the code concrete frame design so I have total of six it's fine I'll select ok now and now I'll go and select my beams and I'll have assigned the loads on them nothing but frame loads which will be distributed uh, first will be dead nothing but 0 0.025 k per feet In gravity direction select ok then next we'll apply We'll assign frame live load. I'll make this as zero point zero four zero. and once it is done I'll also apply a nodal load at this four points um, it will be in Z direction and let's say minus 10 kips should be fine and I'll say it as dead load I'll select OK so you can see dead load 10 keeps acting downwards now my final load remained is wind load so I'll select the node point I'll go to assign I'll say joint loads I'll say forces and I'll say 25 keeps at that point I'll select OK and then I'll select the another the next node point I'll go to assign joint loads forces I'll set 20 
then I'll go to assign again. I'll select the next node point I'll select assign joint loads forces 15 select ok mm. ok I kind of made a little mistake so this 25, 20 and 15 are dead loads but right now I need to just change them into wind loads so I'll select that uh, node point I'll go to assign I'll say joint loads forces I'll change this to wind and I'll make this number as 25 and I'll make sure that over here I have replaced existing loads I'll select OK and then again I'll select that node point I'll go to assign joint loads forces wind and this will be sorry 20 0 we don't have anything else over there select OK then the final node point assign joint loads forces wind 15 kips select ok ok so this looks good all the loads are been applied I'll just remove the extruded view now going to analysis we can we just run the analysis all this load cases will be run and we select run now before that we need to save it multi story frame say save So this it looks the deformed shape for condition one. The condition two is this way. Let's go for load combination number four. So it looks that way. We can start the animation to say. that way it looks yeah I just stopped the animation now in order to view the values you can see first thing for whatever this for, for load combination number 3 you can see the deflection of this node point in x direction is 0.25 feet let me change this units to inches and now you can see that it has moved by 3 inches and in z direction nothing but in downward direction it's moved by 0.2 inches so obviously the wind load or nodal load applied as wind load is really high let us check the concrete design Our design code will be SI 318 2005 and all this will be the same as shown then we can go to sorry 
start design of structure this is way high and as you can see red color means it's failing so you can increase the size of these columns so let's see the design output Oh, okay over oh, there we have the steel percentage and then let me see the longitudinal reinforcing alright let me just unlock the model first and then change the sizes or probably decrease the load let me just have a load of ten usually wind loads keeps on decreasing as you go downwards so for now I'm just putting it like that and I'll just run my analysis by selecting this button let's see what happens now I can start my design of oh, the structure it's still bad so we just yeah the load that I took was really very high so in this way you just uh, do the design and analysis of a structure so basically this thing the ratio stress ratio should be always less than one and make sure your loads are right I mean I took some random nodes and that is the reason I was getting some random shapes let us see our shear and moment drawings there you go oh. shear looks critical let me see the moment I'll say show values on my drawing okay let me rotate this let me go to XZ yep there you go there are my moments shown so basically this video tutorial is to give you an idea how to do the design and analysis when a multi-story frame comes into picture thank you for watching the video